Well, hello and welcome to this revision exercise on logs and it's based on an IGCSC uh, question. Right. And it says, given that uh, 2 log x to base 4 minus log y to base 2 is equal to 3, show that uh, x is equal to 8y. And then it goes on to say, given that uh, log 3x plus y to base 5 is equal to 4, find the values of x and y. Now, what I do here is to look at uh, this piece here first. Now, I've got to base 4 here, and I've got to base 2 here. Now, I have to decide which of these, the 4 or the 2, is the non-standard base. Okay. Now, for this exercise, I'm taking log 4 to be my non-standard non base. And one of the rules or one of the formulas for uh, for logs is something like this one here. Uh, when you have a non-standard a non base, as we've got in this case here, B is a non-standard base, I can express log A to base B in the form of a fraction such as this one here log a to base x, where x is the standard base, divided by log b to base x, where b is the non-standard base. So part a then becomes this one here. So with this being our non-standard non, non base, we can express 2 log x to base 4 in this format here. So, we have uh, 2 log x to base 2 divided by log 4 to base 2. Uh, we can express 4 as 2 squared. Okay. Furthermore, according to one of the rules of logs, we can express uh, the denominator as 2 log 2 to base 2. So, we don't have this here. Now, the twos we cancel out and furthermore log 2 to base 2 is 1 so we now have log s to base 2 is minus log y to base 2 is equal to 3 now because we've got log x to base 2 minus log y to base 2 we can then write the next line as log x over y to base 2 is equal to 3. And yet again, by another law of another rule of logs, we can express x over y is equal to 2 to the power 3. Okay, and 2 to the power 3 is 8. So x will be 8y as required. Okay, now part b. But B says, uh, find the value of x and the value of y, given also that log 3x plus y to base 5 is equal to 4. Now, again, as we said earlier, we can express this as 3x plus 5 is equal to 5 to the power 4. And of course, we know we can express 5 to the power 4 as 5 squared times 5 squared by the law of indices. So if we then substitute x is equal to 8y in there, we then have 3 into 8y plus y, which is 5 squared times 5 squared. And 3 times 8y is 24y. 24y plus y gives us 25y, which is if you like 5 squared y. So we now have that 25y is equal to 5 to the power 4. Okay. And if we then divide both sides by 5 squared, we have that y is equal to 5 squared times 5 squared divided by 5 squared. The 5 squares cancel out as you go there. So y is equal to 5 squared, or if you like, uh, 25. So y is 25 or 5 squared. Now we need to find 3x. 
So we need to find x. Eh? Now, for this one here, if we subtract y from both sides, or if you like, subtract 5 squared from both sides, we end up with this here. So 3x is now 5 squared times 5 squared minus 5 squared. Okay. Now if we divide both sides by 3, now before we do that, we can factorize this bit here. If we factorize this bit here, so you've got, you've got 3x is equal to 5 squared into 5 squared minus 1. Now 5 squared minus 1 is 24. So if we divide both sides by 3, we have that x is equal to 25 times 24 divided by 3. Uh, we have 8 times 25 and x is 200. So y is 25 and x is 200. I hope all that made some sense. Um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.